Hey guys, welcome back to more Metroid Prime. And in this episode, we're going on the elevator, yeah! Whee! Elevator fun. Loading screens fun. Vendrana Drifts, even more fun. This Vendrana Drifts, it's a nice area. Get ice up, and I guess we can't pass, better turn back. Oh, oh no. We don't have any concussive blasts. I guess we can't do that. Yeah. Also worth mentioning, this area has some of the coolest music in the game. So, yeah. I recommend looking it up if you've got the time. How we went from an ice area, from a uh, fire area to an ice area in a matter of seconds, I will never know. Right, okay, Vendrano Drifts. We've got these guys flying around in the air. You want to scan? If you can, at least. Flicker bat. The bats that flicker. We've got these floating islands that are held in air by a gas-based propulsion system. They are islands with jetpacks. Why do the islands get jetpacks? Why don't I get a jetpack? Oh, cool, I want, I want a jetpack. Crystal Light. Crystal Light doesn't get a jetpack. I don't get a jetpack. What's the deal? Western Temple is in Phase 2 Lockdown. Oh no. Not the Western Temple. I don't... South Research Facility? Yeah, there are just these little random snippets of lore around these safe stations. Which I think is nice. It, it boosts immersion a bit. Makes you feel like there's stuff going on that you have no idea what it means. <laughs> so we've got another safe... Safe station, yeah. No, another safe station. Right there. Uh, additionally, right here... Radeon. We can't do anything about Radeon. So, I guess we should just turn around. Also back here. Oh. Oh dear. Can't do anything about that. Extreme heat. Ain't nobody got time for that. We don't have extreme heat. We've got extreme force. Yeah, Radeon, I don't, I don't know. A good way to find out what can break what is by pressing 2 to go to your inventory. And you can find out what breaks what, like power beam, I don't know, and then you can go to, you know, missile launcher and that'll break, radion or we can break radion, never mind, why would they do that, why would they make two separate materials that use the same thing, to that doesn't make sense to me, on a game design perspective, whatever, <laughs> I had a temporary brain fart there, but that unlocks the door directly above us, so that's useful, handy dandy, and now I need to get out of the water. <laughs> Good. Alright, so that's where we're going to want to go next, because we can't really go anywhere else than the door directly above. Ow. This place is pretty, though. I like the falling snow. It looks nice. More of these that can be destroyed like that. Alright, we've got these guys. These are scatter bamboos. Bom bamboos? Bamboos? I don't know. You can roll through the little holes in their defense with the morph ball. I'm not very good at the uh, timing there. Sometimes I manage it. We can't kill them yet, though. Emphasis on yet. And these guys are baby she-goths. Uh, to defeat them, you basically want to shoot them in the back. In order to shatter the little, like, ice shell that they have. I'm not sure if that's ice or it's just, like, a protective thing or what. It's something. But hop around to their backs. And you should be able to get rid of that. And once that's gone, they go down in a few hits. So, pretty cool. Baby she goth. Nice. Oh, hello. Extreme heat. We don't have extreme heat. Where do I get extreme heat? Where is everyone getting this extreme heat? Was there just a day where everyone got extreme heat and now is left home? Ugh. Unacceptable. I like this kind of ruined city aesthetic we've got going on. It's purdy. It's party. Ow. Let's see, I'm looking around for a specific enemy and I don't think it's here. Whatever. Okay. Um because there is a specific enemy that will appear in Fendrana Drifts until a specific point, 
And then once you pass that specific point, you can't ever scan that specific enemy ever again. And it's really subtle and it doesn't make a lot of sense. So I'm I'm really trying not to miss it. Hello? Yeah, you want to scan these guys. Ice beetles. Ice burr. I know names of things. They're basically just like the regular burrowers, except in ice. So you can basically ignore them. Let's see, I don't think I missed anything in the ice rings east. Probably not. Okay. Head into the door. We have more of these pulse bombers. Just walk around them. They won't do you no harm if you don't do them no harm. And we can't do them no harm, so... Grammar. Walking in here, we've got another bit of Chozo lore. I think I've missed a bunch of Chozo lore, but we can always go back and get it. As the great poison reaches ever further into the planet, we Chozo begin to fail the no feel the gnawings of despair. Before it is too late, we now make our last stand. We have begun to build a temple at to contain this darkness. At its heart, we will place a cipher, a mystical lock powered by twelve artifacts and filled with as much power as we Chozo can harness. We wonder, though, even when we are done, will it be too late? And will the power of the temple and the cipher itself prove strong enough to hold back the poisonous tide that even now swells within the ground, threatening all life? Ooh, ominous. So there's a temple and 12 locks that we need 12 keys for, and we haven't found one of them. Good going, us. Good going. Okay. More of these baby shigas. I'm not going to focus on actually killing them. Instead, I'm just going to walk around them. Up there, we've got a purple door. What do we do with purple doors? I don't know. Let's see. And also a missile door right here. Let's go ahead and shoot that. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, then. I see how it is. Right, walk through here, and we reach a canyon. A canyon-y place of canyonship. Canyonship and companionship. Right here we have another Chozo lore. So many creatures suffer beneath the blight upon the land, and we Chozo are no exception. But for all of our pain, we can at least believe in the promise of the future. We have come to believe that a time may never come when we can once again open the door and banish the darkness we've contained. Even so, our vigilance will forever remain. We believe that on some far-off day, a savior will come and continue what we have begun. For that savior, we will leave our ancient weapons and armor. The soul who can gather them will be the entrusted one, the only being who can reverse the evil that grows here. Cool. Thanks. So, I guess that's us. We have to save the planet. Yay. Alright, so, the purpose of this place is to get a new item. Platform realignment. Success. Successful. Not successful. Successful isn't a word. Just hop along these platforms and be careful because they will fall behind you as evidenced by the shaking of the screen and slightly my controller. And look at this new item. Wow. Another Morphal upgrade, oddly. I'm beginning a lot of Morphal stuff lately. Boost ball acquired. This will let us go fast. It'll also let us work half pipes. And half pipes are the best thing ever. Because they're a lot of fun. That's actually the only way to exit this place. If you notice, we dropped down at the beginning. And you can't get back up without the use of the boost ball. So what you have to do is use the half pipe. In order to use the boost ball, just press B on your controller. Or hold it, and then when you release, you'll boost all over the place. And you go really fast, and it's really useful. So that's the boost ball. Um, and now that we have that, we're actually kind of restricted in terms of doing things. For example, we've got a purple door here that we can't do anything about, and we've got a blue door there that we can't do anything about, and those are the only two doors left. In terms of that blue door, it's in a place that we can't reach. So, what we need to do now is actually return to the Talon Overworld, now that we have the boost ball. I know, it sounds weird, like, the boost ball is really going to make that much of a difference, but trust me, once you get the boost ball, you can get one of the most useful items in the entire game, so definitely worry about that. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Up there. I've got a scanning range. Scan these guys. 
ice streak bats. There's a certain point in the game where these guys will disappear from the earth forever. Oh, not the earth. Talon 4. They, they will disappear forever. And you won't be able to find them. You won't be able to scan them. But you want to scan them as soon as you can because stuff will happen. It's not for a little while that the ice streak packs disappear, but it's soon enough that you might forget about them. Oh, look. Ridley's Shadow. That's nice. Okay. Alright, so we're reminded of the reason that we're here on this planet in the first place, which is Ridley. Which just makes us that more determined in order to beat him. Okay. Back to the Chozo ruins I go. And, yeah. You know, I think while I backtrack, that'll be the end of this episode. So thank you everyone for watching. And when I see you next, I'll be back, not in the Chozo ruins, sorry, back in the Talon Overworld. And ready to get a new item. So see you guys then.